Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to introduce you to a couple of valves, although they've been out for a while, but I'd like to explain the differences between them. And that is the ZW205 pressure relief valve and the ZW207 excess pressure shutdown valve. Now both of these valves will prevent a downstream line from going over pressure. We could have sensitive equipment downstream, we need to protect that equipment, so therefore we never want the valve to, or the line downstream to go over pressure. But these valves act differently. There are two different ways of handling an overpressure situation. Starting with the ZW205, it's a pressure relief valve, and quite frankly, it'd be used in applications more so involving a pump. Say, for example, I'm pumping fluid downstream, but all of a sudden my downstream demand ceases or diminishes, that's going to cause an overpressure condition in that line. The ZW205 would then be mounted to a branch on that line, and it would open up and relieve that excess pressure. Now we'd have to take that excess pressure in the fluid and drain it say to a cistern or to a safe drain or perhaps even back to pump suction. So in the case of the relief valve, it is going to have to have a discharge in order to control that downstream pressure, preventing that line from going over pressure. In the case of the ZW207, it's an excess pressure shutdown valve. We would typically use it more in an application whereby we've got municipal water uh, at a high pressure and a pressure reducing valve to lower that downstream pressure. In the event that my pressure reducing valve failed, I could have that high pressure downstream and it would cause damaging effects to my equipment. Therefore, the ZW207 just literally shuts down the water. So we would typically take this valve and set it, say, approximately 10 PSI above wherever the pressure reducing valve was set. And in the event that we go over pressure due to that pressure reducing valve failure, the ZW207 will literally just shut off the water. So again, to reiterate the differences between the two, the ZW205 pressure relief valve would typically be used more in a pumping application, whereby when we go over pressure, we're going to have a discharge from this valve and we're going to have to direct that discharge to a safe drain, cistern, or back to pump suction. In the case of the ZW207, it again is an excess pressure shutdown valve. So it's not gonna have any major discharge coming out of it that we have to worry about piping it away. We simply mount this downstream of our pressure reducing valve, and in the event of that PRV failure, this valve will shut off, preventing that downstream line from going over pressure. So in both cases, we have a means of controlling that downstream pressure, preventing excess pressure that could cause damage to very sensitive equipment. Now I realize this is just a brief little overview. I would hope that you have a lot more questions about these products and if you do, I would strongly, strongly encourage you to contact the customer care team at Zern Wilkins or all of Zern Industries for that matter. We're here to help you folks. If you have questions, you need spec sheets, instruction sheets, etc., we've got all that ready to go for you. So again, I encourage you to contact customer care and ask questions about the ZW205 and the ZW207.